Hi guys! In this three-part series I'm going to explain you how to make arrowheads and furthermore I'm going to explain you how to make the tools that are needed in the process to make them properly. You first need a drift with which you can open up the socket of the arrowhead and also um, form it better. And uh, secondly you need a pair of tongs with conical jaws so you can grab the arrowhead into the socket and forge the point. This video is specially addressed to uh, Karl Karlsson from Karlstad, a very good friend of mine in Sweden. How cool is that name? And um, he, and besides forging, he also practices traditional archery and is a pretty good marksman. And uh, he requested me to show how to make his own arrowheads. Well, I hope you enjoyed the series and stay tuned. Okay, before I show you how to make the drift, I'm going to show you my method of lighting my fire. First, you need to open up the coal and coke until you reach the tweer or the clinker breaker. Make a hole and have your coal around it or whatever fuel you're using. And now I take a bit of sticks and bark. Turn on the motor. Just let it burn for a while until the fire is stable and then slowly open up the air airflow. And as soon as the fire gets stronger you can add your coal coal and so on. Close that in. and let that burn through for a little while. For me, this is the uh, cleanest and uh, most secure method of doing that. You might have your technique. Well, this is also not my technique, I just do it like that, but... just to give you an idea. All right, now let's talk about the drift. The drift should be the same size as your arrow shaft when you uh, made the tip where the socket um, is placed. So um, your start of material should be about the size of your arrow shaft.
Make it nice and warm. Okay, you don't want the tip to be too long, so strike at an angle. First, making it sw square. And then take off the corners. Okay, and now we are going to take off some of the riflings from the rebar. Make it nice and smooth. Okay, this length should be now enough because the socket is only about that long. Now we are going to cut it off with a cutoff hardy, but make it hot first. not go all the way through unless you want to damage the face of your hammer and your hardy. Just twist it off. Now you can dress the top a little bit. Well, I'm going to make it hot again and dress the thing a little bit with a file in the vise. Well now it's nice and smooth and we can use it for making the arrowhead.